This is a video series on using National Geographic MapMaker Interactive. In this video, we discuss the drawing tools. These videos were made possible by America View, Virginia View, the Virginia Cooperative Extension, Colorado Mesa University, and Virginia Tech. Funding for this project was provided by the United States Geological Survey under grant number G14AP00002. The contents of this video and the related written tutorial are solely the responsibility of the authors and do not represent the official views of the U.S. Geological Survey. Mention of trade names or commercial products does not constitute their endorsement by the United States government. This video series accompanies Chapter 1 in a written tutorial titled Exploring Our Planet with Open Source Software. You can find the written tutorial at virginiaview.cnre.vt.edu slash education or at americaview.org slash exploring our planet. When you first enter into National Geographic MapMaker Interactive, you see this screenshot, a welcome dialog box. For the purpose of this specific video, please click on the X in the upper right hand corner of the welcome dialog box and close it. Once closed, you will see this screen. On the left side of the screen is a toolbar shown here within the red box. In this video, we are going to examine the drawing tools in the middle of this toolbar. The first five buttons are drawing tools. The button with the capital T is for writing text on your map. And the last button, the trash can, is for deleting all items added by the other tools. Click on the first one, the pencil. This tool is called Draw Polyline. Once you click on it, you see three more buttons. Finish, Delete Last Post, and Cancel. But you also see the words Click to Start Drawing Line. You click where you want to start drawing the line. In this instance, we clicked on the southern part of Lake Michigan near Chicago, Illinois. You can see it started with a point which is represented by a box. You move the pencil in the direction you want the line. In this case, I move the line to the western shore of the Chesapeake Bay. If you are finished with that one line, you can click on Finish or double click with your mouse. Or with a single click, you can add a node and change directions. As you have seen, we've done that and went to the southern part of Georgia. You can continue to draw until finished. This can just be a line or a multi-sided polygon with sides of different lengths. But notice on the screen, you are also provided with lengths of the entire circumference of the box in both meters and kilometers. If you have double clicked or clicked on finish, you can still delete the drawing. Click on the trash can. As you can see now, you have two buttons enabled, save or cancel. Now that's not to save and cancel the uh, drawing you just did. What you actually have to do is where you see it says click on a feature to remove. You click on the feature that you just drew and it will disappear. Don't worry if you've got multiple features and you clicked on the wrong one, all you need to do is hit the cancel button. You actually have to click on save after the feature disappears to actually save the deleted action. So go ahead if you haven't, go ahead and delete it so we can look at some other drawing tools. Now click on the Pentagon. You see the same enabled buttons that you saw when you clicked on the pencil. Finish, delete last point, cancel, and click to start drawing. Why would you want to use a polygon drawing tool versus the line tool, the pencil? 
Well, doing a polygon can be more precise. It'll give you more precise angles than drawing freehand with the pencil, but it is your choice. Let's look at the next tool, which is the rectangle. Okay. There's just a cancel on that one, and this one says click and drag to start drawing the rectangle. So what you do is you find the location where you want to draw the rectangle, you click, make the top line, the top side of the rectangle, as long as you need to to cover the area of interest. Then you drag with your mouse down and hold your mouse button down when you're dragging. And then once the rectangle is the size that you want it, you just release your mouse button and it finishes drawing. Now, if you're not happy, you can still use the delete button, the trash can, like we did in the prior screenshot when we were using the polyline tool. The next drawing tool is a circle. This one works again just a bit differently. You don't draw the nodes, but you click on the map on the point that you want to be in the middle of your circle, hold your mouse button down, and then expand it out until it's to the extent that you want. Once you have it to the extent that you want, you release your mouse button to finish. But what's nice about this tool, if you want your radius at a specific length, for instance, you want to draw 288.69 kilometers out from the center of St. Louis, Missouri, put your mouse, before you start drawing the circle, on St. Louis, hold your mouse button down, and when you get to the radius you want, release the mouse button. And again, you can also delete this just as you've done with the polyline and the rectangle. Once you have chosen your marker, just click on it, move your mouse to the area where you want to put the marker, and click and it adds your icon. And as you can see in this screenshot, I've chosen a large house and added it to the Chicago area. The last button in this middle toolbar is for writing text. You click on the button and a box opens for you to use your keyboard and type whatever text you want. Before you can type, you need to place the text box where you want the text on your map and then double click. Then you can type at will. When you're typing, it may not display in black. As you can see in this instance, it's displayed in a dark pink. Whatever color it's writing while you're typing is the color it will display. Don't worry, we'll show you how to edit this in just a minute. So how do you edit, edit the text? Well, and anything else you want to have drawn. There is actually an edit button above the trash can button. Okay. This is to edit anything that you've added from the above toolbar. Once you've clicked on edit, you see save and cancel. That's very much similar to the trash can. Cancel just cancels out of edit. It doesn't change anything. Save is what you do after you have finished your edits. So once you've clicked on that, the next thing you need to do is move to the feature you wish to edit. In this case, I clicked on the text that I wrote for Chicago, Illinois. Now if you look closely, a pink hyphenated box has shown in the area of the text. It's not highlighting the whole text, but it is telling you that is what text has been enacted so I can edit it. But notice, you also have a dialog box that's opened on the right side called Formatting Tool. You can change the symbology and other things within this formatting tool. Let's take a little bit closer look at this. Under First Color Settings, you can change your symbolization in this regard. Under the next link underneath that is Font and Stroke. This is where you can change the sizes of your font. You might want a larger size font if you've decided to put a title on your map. 
That, of course, would be in much larger text than you would for any other typographical information. You can add links to an online video or an image. All you need to do is you put a title. It's going to title that marker symbol. And then if you click in the image URL box, you can then take you, it takes you to the web where you can click a link to add a, video, uh, add a URL. And that could be a website for specific information. Say, for instance, you're doing a map with regards to your local school. You might want to put your local school's main web page in there. Under the next one, a YouTube video. And then finally, under description, you can describe what you mean with regards to this particular marker that you've inserted. You can also measure. Again, please note this says for polyline elements only, but it allows you to have measuring distances. And then finally, say it in finally all it's said and done, you don't like the marker that you put in for your point. You can still change your marker in this location. You don't need to delete your marker, you just put it in editable mode and change your marker icon. This concludes the video. If you have any questions with regards to this video or the accompanying written tutorial, please contact Dr. Tammy Paris at Colorado Mesa University or Dr. James Campbell at Virginia Tech at the email addresses on the screen.